It's mm -hmm. never, ever a good bet to bet against the American people. America is coming back. The development, manufacture, and distribution of vaccines in record time is a true miracle of science. It's one of the most extraordinary achievements any country has ever accomplished. We also just saw the Perseverance rover land on Mars. Stunning images of our dreams that are now a reality. Another example of the extraordinary American ingenuity, commitment, and belief in science and one another. And today, I signed into law the American Rescue Plan, an historic piece of legislation that delivers immediate relief to millions of people, includes $1,400 in direct rescue checks, payments. That means a typical family of four earning about $110,000 will get checks for $5,600 deposited if they have direct deposit or in a check, a treasury check. It extends unemployment benefits. It helps small businesses. It lowers health care premiums for many. It provides food and nutrition, keeps families in their homes. And it will cut child poverty in this country in half, according to the experts. And if I, and it funds all the steps I've just described to beat the virus and create millions of jobs. In the coming weeks and months, I'll be traveling along with the First Lady, the Vice President, the Second Gentleman, members of my cabinet, to speak directly to you, to tell you the truth about how the American Rescue Plan meets the moment. And if it fails at any point, I will acknowledge that it failed, but it will not about how after long, dark years, one whole year, there is hope and light of better days ahead. If we all do our part, this country will be vaccinated soon. Our economy will be on the mend. Our kids will be back in school. And we'll have proven once again that this country can do anything, hard things big things, important things. Well, a year ago, no one could have imagined what we were about to go through. But now, we're coming through it. And it's a shared experience that binds us together as a nation. We are bound together by the loss and the pain of the days that have gone by. We're also bound together by the hope and the possibilities of the days in front of us. My fervent prayer for our country is that after all we've been through, we'll come together as one people, one nation, one America. I believe we can and we will. We're seizing this moment and history I believe will record we faced and overcame one of the toughest and darkest periods in this nation's history. Darkest we've ever known. I promise you, we'll come out stronger with a renewed faith in ourselves, a renewed commitment to one another, to our communities and to our country. This is the United States of America. And there's nothing, nothing, from the bottom of my heart I believe this, there's nothing we can't do when we do it together. So God bless you all. And please, God, give solace to all those people who lost someone. And may God protect our troops. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I look forward to seeing you. President Biden declaring in his first national primetime address that beating the virus depends on national unity. He is unleashing a wartime effort to get all adults eligible to get in line for a vaccine by May 1st. Let's bring in CBS's Nancy Cordes at the White House. And Nancy, does President Biden have the authority to tell states who should be eligible for a vaccine? Nor the White House insists that the president does have the power via the Department of Health and Human Services to issue this directive and make it stick. Now, as you heard the president say, that doesn't mean that everyone is going to get the vaccine, 